So, of course, as always, I want to start by saying thank you, everyone, for joining. My name is Cody Armstrong, and today we're discussing managing a bill of materials in Onshape. And we're very fortunate to be joined by Oleg Shilovitsky from OpenBomb. He's the CEO of OpenBomb, and he's going to help us with some questions about some of the capabilities in OpenBomb as we go through today's webinar. But again, the topic today, managing a bill of materials in Onshape. We're really going to focus not so much on the CAD end of things, but the data management ends of Onshape. How do we create that bill of materials? How do we manage changes to the bill of materials? And of course, how do we insert that into a drawing as well? So managing a bill of materials in Onshape, that's the goal for the webinar today. It's going to be a short one. We're going to go through things pretty quickly here. So feel free to ask any questions that you'd like. There's a questions dialog in the GoToWebinar control panel. Both myself and Oleg are here to answer any questions that you have. And you certainly have you know, an expert here in Open Bomb. So feel free to ask anything that you'd like. So let's dig into it. Now, the agenda today is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, we are going to start with introduction of the Bomb apps. There is op um, Open Bomb, of course, which we're going to spend the majority of the day on, but there's also an app uh, called Onshape Bomb for Google Sheets, which you can use. But then we're going to get into how to manage a bill of materials. And in this webinar, we're going to focus primarily on Open Bomb and how do we manage Open Bomb with regards to changes and you know all the things that Open Bomb can do. Um, we also want to get into um, how to insert a bill of materials into a drawing. I think that's the commonly asked question. And as always with these webinars, we really try and focus this around a lot of the commonly asked questions that we get. Now, once we cover the basics, how to create a bomb, how to manage a bomb, how to insert a bomb into a drawing, then we're going to get into some advanced bill of materials functionality that a lot of users have requested, things like formulas, things like roll up and, the, and so on. So um, we're going to get into you know a lot more things that you can do with your bill of materials than simply create a list of parts. Um, now, as always, as I always say with these webinars, make sure to ask any questions that you'd like. There's a questions dialog there in the GoToWebinar control panel. Ask any question, and I'll do my best to answer it. If I can't answer it, again, we have Oleg on the line here. He can answer it for sure. So let's get into it. Now, what I wanted to start with is the Onshape App Store. And the reason I want to start here is because uh, the, the Open Bomb app is available in the Onshape App Store. And if you're not familiar with the Onshape App Store, it's simply a marketplace that allows you to try out different apps and use different apps depending on what your purpose is. If you're trying to generate toolpath, there's an app for that. If you're trying to render your model, there's an app for that. If you're trying to create a bill of materials, OpenBOM is an app available in the App Store. So again, just pointing out, if you're not familiar with the Onshape App Store, definitely check it out. There's a lot more than just the bill of materials app that we're going to discuss here today. There's rendering, find element analysis, fluid dynamics, cam, lots of different things available in the Onshape App Store. So that's the key thing. And of course, if you're following along with us here today, if you're following along in the recording, um, you'll need to start by choosing one of the apps in the App Store. We're going to walk through that in just a second. So that's a simple intro into the Onshape App Store. What I want to get into now are the two different apps that I think are really um, usable for generating a real build materials. Now, the first is very much a simple spreadsheet, Onshape Bomb for Google Sheets. And it's a tool written by our own Lou Gallo that allows you to pull in all that data into a simple Google Sheet. So if all you're looking for is you know, relatively simple functionality with Google Sheets, um, the Onshape Bomb for Google Sheets app is a good tool for that. Now, the there are a few different things to keep in mind with Onshape Bomb for Google Sheets. It is a separate tab. You know, you're working in Google Sheets, so it's not an integrated app inside of on shape. Uh, so, you know, kind of segueing into OpenBOM, it is an integrated app. So you do have the ability to create a bill of materials right inside of your Onshape document. It's just another tab like your parts or your drawings, your assemblies. So um, OpenBOM itself is integrated into the document and it allows you to, you know, not leave that single environment. So it's up to you which app you choose. We're going to focus primarily on OpenBOM for this webinar. I'm going to discuss some of the things that OpenBOM can do. Um, as I mentioned before, Onshape Bomb for Google Sheets is a great alternative if you're looking for, for just simple Google Sheets functionality. It'll pull in all that data. You can even push that back into the document if you make changes. It connects to Google Sheets, so it's not integrated into a document. It's connecting to Google Sheets. Uh, it was created by our own Lou Gallo, so if you're familiar with Lou Gallo, um, you know, he works for the Onshape team and is a very bright guy, created this app and made it available for everyone. The cool thing about this runs on any modern browser, as many of 
the OnShape apps do. What we're going to focus on here today, though, is Open Bomber. And the reasons that I, I want to focus on Open Bomber, it, it's a, it has more advanced Bomb-specific functionality. It's integrated directly into a document, and it has a lot of the same benefits that you get with OnShape itself: version control, sharing abilities, history. You know, all these things that tie very closely to way to the way that OnShape works. Um, so it's definitely an easy solution if you're just looking for an easy way to generate build materials. Maybe make a couple of tweaks. You can even get into really robust things. You know, you can have revisions in your bomb. You can have multiple people editing your bomb. You can even build things like inventory. So it's really a robust application in that sense. So we're going to spend our time on open bomb and you know focus on how to walk through the process of generating a bomb, you know, editing any changes to the bomb and then of course, you know, inserting into the drawing. So let's dig into it. Now, some tips with open bomb. First off, I've already briefly mentioned a few of these, but you get version control of bombs and that's something that again very closely aligns with onship itself. You have that ver version co control ability built in. It's not something that you have to manage separately. This is different than a traditional PDM system. Right? You don't have all of that overhead that you would have in those types of systems. It also has the same benefits of Onshape in the sense that you have real-time collaboration. So you can collaborate with others in your bill of materials in real time, and you're not passing a spreadsheet back and forth. Now, of course, you can have multiple bombs per document. That's something that comes up quite often. Is it possible to have multiple bombs per document? And it also have a, has a function to group by name. And I think this is a commonly asked question, especially if you do a lot of heavy part studio modeling, where you may have modeled the same part in multiple instances and you get you know issues with the quantities and so on. On shape or open bomb has this really neat option, group by name, that allows you to automatically group all those parts together. Now, of course, you can do simple operations like copy paste. So if you're just looking to construct your bill of materials, those functions there. And then we're going to focus later on today about on formulas and roll-ups. And the commonly asked questions in that regard are, is it possible to get the total weight of my assembly from the bill of materials? Or is it possible to get the total cost of my assembly through the bill of materials? And that's where I would use things like formulas and roll-up. So those are relatively new things and some things that, that a lot of users have requested. So let's dig into it. There we go. I... I am online. You probably can see my screen. Yes, yes, we can. Thank you. There we go. All right, Cody, I suggest you will guide me and I will demonstrate whatever you want. Sure. sure. Um, so the big thing that I wanted to stress was, again, that we add the Open Bomb app to the App Store, or add the app to your list. And then when you go to the plus icon on the bottom left corner, you see Add Application, and you can click Open Bomb. Now, once that happens, you'll load this tab, essentially, and, and you'll choose your parts list. You'll choose what assembly um, or Part Studio that you want to create a bomb of, and then you click Create Bomb, and what it's going to do is go through and pull that information from the Onshape document. So it's going to grab all the properties associated with the document um, and generate that bill of materials. All right. So you can see all of the different part numbers, the revisions, the materials, uh, vendor project title, so on. Um, so again, you know. It's very simple to generate a just list of all your parts with all the different properties that you've filled out. Um, now, what I'd like to do is get into a little bit more of how to insert this into a drawing. I don't suppose you have a drawing on hand, Oleg, that you can drop this into? I'm not sure I have a drawing, but I will create it now. Okay. If not, then <laughs> we, can, we can get into some of the advanced uh, open bomb things to discuss. But... What I'd like to do is just walk through. We've created a simple bill of materials, and what we want to do now is just insert that bill of materials, um, you know, into your drawing. Right. So, you know, normally step one was you drop your assembly in. Maybe if you have an explosive, you drop that in as well. But then you need to insert your bill of materials that we've just created in OpenBond. So Oleg is inserting a couple of views here, but then it's just a matter of clicking that insert bomb command in the toolbar. Right. 
Now, one thing worth worth pointing out here, Oleg, pause for just a second, is um, one commonly asked question is, you know, if I generate my bill of materials, how do I ensure, how do I tell it what do I want to insert into the drawing? And OpenWalm actually has this option to specify here are the things that I want to insert into my bill of materials that goes into that drawing. So definitely worth mentioning there um, because you can set that up. You can say I only want to see part number, revision, you know, balloon, whatever it may be. So whatever your combination is that you prefer. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, you just simply choose insert bomb right there in the toolbar. Choose bomb apps, very important. You'll see we have two different bills of materials here and just choose your bill of materials and drop that into place. All right. And you can resize it. There's all kinds of things you can do to kind of clean things up there, but that's the general process of inserting the bill of materials. So for, first step, of course, make sure to generate the bill of materials tab, you know, uh, subscribe to the open bomb app. It will add that tab to the document. Remember the first time that you'll need to create that login. Uh, but then it's just a matter of generate your bill of materials, insert it into the drawing. And I think that's what many users out there are looking for. They're not necessarily looking um, for you know, all kinds of crazy functionality, maybe just the ability to generate a bill of materials and insert into a drawing. I get that quite often. However, there are certainly users out there that need more advanced bill materials functionality. And that's when we get into some of the things that OpenMOM can really do. Um, it's very good at creating a simple list of parts. That's all you need. But it also has a lot of abilities that a lot of users have requested. Um, so I always like to mention a few different things that you can do just because I get the questions quite often. The first question I get is, is it possible to insert uh, some kind of an item into the bomb? Right? I didn't model you know, whatever this part is. I just need to see it in the bill of materials. And that's a commonly asked question. And the answer is yes. You can add you know, any kind of item that you want to your bill of materials. You can see Oleg is inserting glue for instance. It could be paint. It could be packaging. You know, there's all kinds of examples of things that I would insert as a line item into my bomb. I don't really care to model glue. It right? doesn't make sense. So a good example of that is you know, glue like uh, Oleg is showing you there. So that's a commonly asked question. Now, the next question is, is it possible to revision manage the bill of materials? And this is something that if you've come from in enterprise PDM world, you know, where you've spent potentially tens of thousands on PDM software, you'll know this is very specific functionality to traditionally very expensive software. And the answer is yes, you can do that as well. You can see Oleg there is, you know, saving revisions as he's changing values in the bill of materials. Um, very similar, by the way, to the way that Onshape works. It's all built into the core of OpenBOM. It's not something that you have to manage separately. Um, so just keep in mind, you have revision control, you have history, just like on shape itself, right? So every little change, especially important when you start talking about real-time collaboration, you can do that as well in the bill of materials. Um, so just keep in mind, you know, share functionality, real-time collaboration, history, version control. A lot of the things that you love about Onshape also apply to uh, OpenBOM. Now, um, the thing that I wanted to mention um, just briefly, a commonly asked question, uh, what about exporting? What if I need to export to a CSV or a PDF, you know, uh, something along those lines, an Excel spreadsheet even? And the answer is yes, there's a big export button you can see here. You can choose what you want to export, right, in the export options, and then you have your drop down there to choose the format that you want to export. So another commonly asked question, if you need to get that bomb data out and into some other system. So, um, you know, that's kind of a simple intro into some of the things that it can do. I think one commonly asked question that I wanted to address is the idea of a formula built into your bill of materials. So a commonly asked question that you may get uh, that I often hear is, is it possible to add up all of the, the cost or is it possible to add up all the weight? You know, I have mass of each part. I have the quantity of each part. Is it possible to tell me what the total weight for each part is and what the total weight of the overall assembly is? Um, and the answer is yes. And, and in both cases, you can create what's called a formula. Now, um, what Olga will show you here is you can insert any kind of property that you want into your bill materials. So um, in the case of 
you know, this example, I could insert something like total cost or total weight, you know, and I could add all of those things up. Now you can insert a property in the top left corner there, right? So you'll see insert property and, you know, I can insert a property like total weight. There's a lot of public properties, by the way, that make it very simple. You can also insert your own if you choose to, uh, just your own company specific properties. But what happens there is a new property is added to your bill of materials. So remember, you can add anything that you want to your bill of materials as a property, type in values, or um, maybe a little bit more intelligently, link them together, create a formula that drives those. So you can see there, if he right clicks the cell, he has that option to edit formula. Now, the syntax, it's worth mentioning. Um, you can see he typed in at PN, that's at part number. So essentially what we're saying here is the part number's mass times the part number's property. And you literally use the asterisk there to bring up that uh, multiplication menu. And you can see again, at PN is at part number quantity, right? So now we're multiplying mass times quantity, applying it for all rows, and now we've created a, a column that's linked, right? So you can see, you know, if I have two or three or five of something, it's going to update. Now, I can also do a formula for what's called a roll-up, right? So you'll see a roll-up, enable roll-up, by the way, um, at the very top. All right, so a little checkbox there, and what that does is it gives you that bottom row of cells that you can take all these values and you know, create an easy sum of them. Right. So if you right click, you can see the roll up there at the very bottom. If you right click and choose Edit Formula, you can do sum, and then choose whatever you know total weight in this example, for instance. So it will automatically add up all of those, all the weights, and give you a total weight for your assembly. And that's just one example. You can also use this as a way to ta uh, calculate total cost, right? So I add a price property to each part, I add up all those prices, and I get a total cost for my assembly. Um, another example that, I, that I've seen happen in this past is give me the total length of material that I'm going to need. Remember, I can import geometric data from the Onshape model as well, and I can add all that up. So that's another example where, where this is a common approach. But, you know, these abilities for formulas, these abilities for roll-up capabilities where I can sum everything together and get that all in the Bill of Materials tab is something that's normally pretty specific to normally pretty expensive uh, PDM systems, PLM systems even, uh, and capability. So definitely worth checking out. You know, uh, OpenBOM is great if all you want is a simple list of parts. You know, it does that with just a few clicks, but you can do a lot of stuff um, that I think a lot of users really need, right? The ability to insert items for things you didn't model, the ability to add everything up in the bill of materials is are very commonly asked features. Question, is there a link to OpenBOM documentation or help function when accessing OpenBOM through Onshape? So is there a link to it from Onshape or do you need to go to help.openbom.com, Oleg? Uh, there is a link from the uh, home screen of OpenBOM. If you go to OpenBOM dashboard, there is a link on the top. Okay, yeah. So that's the link. And the URL is help.openbom.com. Question. I don't see enable roll-up checkbox in my OpenBOM bomb. What do I do to need to do to make it appear? Is there any reason that enable roll-up wouldn't be an option? Um, the roll-ups are enabled for the moment in BOMs, in Bill of Materials. If you are in Open BOM and you created inventories, there are no roll-ups in inventories for the moment. But if you're in uh, Bill of Materials, you should be able to see it, enable roll-up. If you don't see it, contact at support at openbomb.com. We will help you. So support openbomb.com if you have uh, any issues with that. All right. That is what I had planned to show you. Oh, okay. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention that we haven't discussed here? Oh, one thing that I wanted to show that I nearly forgot. Um, 
this is a valuable thing if you do, especially a lot of uh, complex searches of your data. Uh, if you launch Open Bomb there, and by the way, in the top left corner, there's a link. If you click Open Bomb, it will take you to bomb.openbomb.com. And in here is the dashboard. And what's really neat about this that I like to mention is you can search by all kinds of different things, not just part names, but other descriptive you know, properties within that bill of materials. So you can search basically within anything in the bill of materials. So if you're looking for what I would consider you know, more advanced bomb search capabilities, um, OpenBomb has that as well. So especially important as you start getting into multiple bombs and just many different projects and managing all of that at once. Um, question, can you show colors as options with related RGB values? I'm not sure I follow that. Um, what do you mean by Oleg? I, I, no, I, I have, I, I don't know, but okay. what do you mean the color? Can you show colors as options with related RGB value colors as options? Okay. I'm not sure I follow. Can you please uh, clarify if you could? All right, Oleg, anything that I've missed that you feel is important? I think the last thing that I'm trying to demonstrate now live, I'm, I, we, we added this property total weight, which is a calculated between, uh, calculated from quantities and uh, mass, which is automatically extracted from one shape. And now I can go back to the drawing that I created. And when I will get back, I will be able to bring the uh, data. Uh, I think I think I put the wrong bomb. Mm, at least that's what I see now. Just the material. I think I originally put the wrong bomb in the drawing. That's why you don't see the updates. Uh -huh. So that was the one, and uh, now let me just uh, delete this one. We should be able to insert again as well. Um, my open bomb logo is not a live link to the open bomb web page using Chrome on Windows 10. Is this a bug or feature I don't have for some reason? Um, try clicking the open bomb logo in the top left corner of open bomb. Um, I'm not, forgive me, I'm not familiar with if, if that big logo um, is a link as well. The logo is probably not the link. Uh, the button is below the logo. Ah, I see. <laughs> So um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the questions dialog there in the GoToWebinar control panel. Um, again, we have Oleg on the line with us, so uh, you can certainly ask any or you can answer any questions, right, Oleg? Um, I do want to, to mention again um, the the reasons that I like Open Bomber is, is just that it's integrated into the document. It's another tab, so you're not going back and forth to other you know, tabs even um, in your browser or even applications, right? You don't have to leave the Onshape environment. And it has a lot of the same things that on make Onshape great, right? the revision control, the history, the ability to share and collaborate in real time. Um, you know, those are things that you've never really gotten with the Build Materials app before, right? That's always been kind of this static experience of, you know, the best case and a spreadsheet, you know, file that gets passed back and forth. So. Uh, definitely something new in the realm of bill materials, uh, but something that, that can definitely change things. So if you haven't tried out the Open Bomb app yet, I definitely recommend it. As I mentioned before, it's in the App Store. Um, so if you click the App Store, you subscribe to the app, and then you sign into it, and you're off and running. Okay. Oleg, anything else to sum things up? Um, no, you can reach me uh, via email, oleg at openbomb.com if you have any questions, or you can uh, use uh, OpenBomb support online. Okay. Um, one real quick last question. When are you going to add balloons? We do have balloons today. Uh, you can balloon the parts in your drawings today. Uh, the only disadvantage, the thing that we're actively working on, is the ability to link the balloons to the bill of materials. 
Um, I will say that's high on our list of priorities. But it's important to keep in mind you can balloon your parts in your drawings today. There is a balloon command in the toolbar for your drawings. And and I think it was a question about where used. So at any line, an open bar, any item, you can click where used, and you will see a lot of. Again, in my case, it was just a lot of samples, but you will see a list of bombs that's using the same item. Yeah, exactly. So very good point. A commonly asked question, by the way, as well. Uh, how do we see the where used? So to just to clarify that, you know, where this seal, where this bearing is used in other assemblies, and you can do that again, by, like, as Oleg just showed, by selecting it and then clicking where used, and you'll get that list. All right, everyone, that is it. Uh, I am going to stick around and answer any other questions. We're going to stick around just for a few more minutes, um, but that's what we had planned. I want to say thank you, everyone, and have a good day. Thank you, everyone.